you and I are brothers and sisters at heart. And all the silly things and awful things that divide people melt away. We share in common that spirit of God that comes to us when we have that desire to be the best that we are called to be, to transcend ourselves for the sake of another, to incarnate compassion and goodness, to manifest our true destiny as children of God. In that we are one. That is church. That is the gathering of those who have awakened to the possibility more than they ever thought they could be. Nothing the world has to sell. You can go do whatever it is you need to do in the world to exist. You share in common that love of God, that love of goodness, that desire to be the one, if perhaps the only one, in the schoolyard, at the office, who's not the mean-spirited one, who is the peacemaker, are part of God's action in the world, nothing less, co-creating with God, making real that love that is holy. That's why everyone is because wherever you are from, whatever culture and background you have, somewhere deep in your heart, you can understand. Forgiveness and all those things that are Holy Spirit, that which comes from the source of that made us. Beyond all dogma, beyond all belief system, and all the fractured silliness of Christianity, is that sense deep in our heart that carries us forward like the wind to horizon unknown, of caring, of daring to be more than in the name of God. Don't you see? It is tangible, it is real, it is for you today. We don't celebrate a 2,000 year old birthday. We recognize what it means to be church together, to be brothers and sisters in the spirit broken out of that basement where we usually live, where it's only about us. When you discover the wind of the spirit, there is no greater joy, no greater fulfillment.